Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to first look at Arsenal maybe accelerating Emi Buendia transfer as Aston Villa prepare offer and then we're going to look at Arsenal in talks to sign Edmund Tapsoba with Bayer Leverkusen star top of Edu's shortlist. So the first transfer headline states that Arsenal could accelerate Emi Buendia transfer as Aston Villa prepare offer. So the reports are stating that Arsenal and Aston Villa are both in the running to sign Emi Buendia. Arsenal could attempt to push for a deal to sign Norwich star Emi Buendia to ward off interest from Aston Villa according to reports. Buendia is one of a number of attacking midfielders linked with the moves to Arsenal. Martin Odegaard is the number one target for Mikel Arteta after impressing on loan from Real Madrid in the second half of the season. Martin Odegaard will likely attract a large fee, with Real's stance on signing the Norwegian not clear. This 22-year-old has not always been seen eye-to-eye with Real boss Zinedine Zidane, though Zidane is widely expected to leave his role at the Bernabeu at the end of the season. Emi Buendia appears to be high on Arsenal's wish list if they can, cannot get a deal for Martin Odegaard of the line. The 24-year-old scored 15 goals and registered 16 assists in 39 championship appearances this season as Norwich got promoted back to the Premier League at the first time of asking. The Telegraph say Villa are also in the race to sign the 24-year-old and are preparing an offer. The report claims Dean Smith wants to complete their summer business early in the window which could force Arsenal into moving quickly for Emi Buendia. Villa are prioritising the signing of a number 10 with Norwich wanting up to £40 million for their playmaker. Norwich except Buendia could leave the club this summer, but will not allow him to go for less than their valuation. The Telegraph notes that Arsenal's potential pursuits of Emi Buendia depends on the outcome of their interest in keeping Martin Odegaard. After Sunday's 2-0 win over Brighton, Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta admitted he hoped a longer-term deal was possible. We have tried everything to make that we could to get Martin performing for the team, which I think he has done, McLaughlin has said. He has adapted really well to our way of playing and to our football club. Hopefully, he, we will give him the hope and the feeling that this could be a good place for him. Norwich boss Daniel Falker spoke in April about the future of Brendia, and he reiterated the club's stance that the financial offer must be right. Falker said, We have to be realistic, we are a self-funding club and will always have to develop our players. Of course, if one of the best clubs in the world wants Emi as a starter and makes an unbelievable offer, then it could be a realistic solution for all parties. If there is a club who wants to put some crazy offers out, then maybe you use this to help the club in the future. But as a head coach, my first thought is to work further on with our key players. So it looks like Arsenal could accelerate Emi Buendia transfer as Aston Villa prepare offer and knowing the Gunners they like to make their business go until the very last minutes but if Aston Villa are ready to get their business done early then Arsenal maybe have to make a decision quickly on if they sign Emi Buendia or not. So you have to wait and see how this transfer pans out. So it nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news which states that Arsenal in talks to sign Edmund Tapsoba with Bayer Leverkusen star top of Edu shortlist. So the reports are stating that Arsenal reportedly in talks to sign Bayer Leverkusen defender Edmund Tapsoba. Also open talks to sign Bayer Leverkusen defender Edmund Tapsoba according to reports. The Burkina Faso international has been among the best centre-backs in the Bundesliga since arriving from Vittoria Gomares in January 2020 for £15.5 million. The Gunners are looking to strengthen at the heart of defence with WWE set to depart upon the expiry of his contract. It's an area that has proved a weakness for the Gunners this season, particularly during their mid-season blip last November. McClaw says he wants to strengthen at the back and has discussed a list of targets with their due heading into the summer. According to Italian journalist Gianluigi Longari, Tapsoba is top of the Gunners' shortlist and the club have now initiated talks for the defender. It is also reported earlier this year that Manchester United were scouting Tapsoba. Tapsoba was also the subject of an inquiry from Liverpool back in January when the Reds were scrambling to sign a centre-back. He previously had a £44 million release clause in his last contract before recently signing an extension. Leverkusen were cautious that the figure was low and are likely to have raised the figure in his new deal. 
although there has been no confirmation of that so far. Mikel Arteta has already made it clear that he needs to make big changes to his squad, particularly given the board are prepared to stand by him despite his failure to secure European football. The squad needs changing, Mikel Arteta recently said. There were already a lot of changes in December, something that has not been done in years. But it tells us where we are. Things are going to have to change and the owners are going to back it up. We have to do what we believe what we have to do. Time is catching up right now. It's a trend. It's years now that this has been happening. If the distance and the margins with the rest becomes too big, then it's almost impossible to do it. We are still on time and we have put some very strong pillars and foundations in the last few months to do what we have to do. We are in the right place to do it and we have to do it. So it looks like the Gunners are in talks to sign Edmund Tapsoba with Bayer Leverkusen star top of Eddie's shortlist. So it looks like Edmund Tapsoba, who normally plays on the left centre back position, or someone that can play in the back three on the left centre back position as well, or he can be the left centre back in the back four as well. So in terms of Edmund Tapsoba, when it comes to what I know about Edmund Tapsoba, he is someone that's seen as a very top top prospect. He's someone that is quite young and he looks like a steal for Bayer Leverkusen when he, he was signed in January 2020. And when it comes to Edmund Tapsoba, he's a left centre back. But the Gunners are going for very young players in the fact that we're losing David Luiz, that's all been confirmed. But when it comes to a replacement to David Luiz, they're going for the likes of Edmund Tapsoba. Is Tapsoba the right man to replace David Luiz? Does he have the ability to adapt to the Premier League? Because we know that players, especially from the Bundesliga, they look really good in the Bundesliga. But when you come to the Premier League, it's a different league. And for me, for everyone pretty much, Premier League is the best league out there. And the competition levels are much harder. It's much more difficult to be at the top level. So would he be able to adapt to the defence of the Premier League and the ruthlessness and the aggression in the Premier League as well? So you have to wait and see how this transfer pans out. But other than that, guys, remain blessed. Stay tuned for the next video and peace.